don't know what's going on. It's uh, taped off this uh, crime scene. I don't know why this uh, plant sale sign went up, which is illegal, but we didn't do it. They have a backhoe here, trucks. Hey, who can tell us what's going on? What's going on? Uh, I guess they're just going to take her stuff. Wesley Chung's there telling everybody that the stuff was tagged. This stuff is not tagged. This stuff was this not tagged. It hasn't been tagged. We're going to tag it. Oh, that's why you got to tag, tag it. Up and you're tag it and leave it white. I've, I've had that gentleman over there take this a push on me. This is the first time. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I was like, oh my God. This is the first time we've got this tape here. I just get out of the tape and start shoving on me. I, and then he takes a takes this and starts pushing me around. This is this out. is a new thing here. What yeah. their back hose? There's a crane here, as you can see. Yeah. You can see that uh, the police are heavily armed. These are not the Aloha police. No. These are not the Aloha shirt guys. Hey, those look like shotgun rounds. They, they really are. Those look. like are those shotgun rounds on your belt? What are they? They must be. Um, I've never seen those on any any other HPD person that's been here before. Is that for keeping the peace? What is that? It must be for keeping the peace. It you must be for keeping the peace. You guys are all decked out in your in your harmful. It's over you. Are you, you can, strapped? You can oh, yeah, you can see the splintered pad insignia on there. Uh, oh, so so so. It's, logo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to walk around here. I, you know, it's an election year. This might really be more for show. Uh, I'm going to come around. Blade is counting the actual number of personnel. We have more police here than we've had in quite a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to move my property. Where's your ID? I have to move my property. Okay, last warning. Your ID, sir. Hey, how's it? How are you? Hey, I told you they were going Detain after Kao. You guys never believed me. me. Huh? Uh, the brother never no, believed me. I told them we were going to go uh, out to Kao. Yeah, you're not getting it. Yeah, that was there two weeks before. That was a park stuff. So you don't want to give me your ID? No, I'm not giving you my ID for no reason. Where's, where's Wes? Is he here? Sir, here, we're going to take your stuff. This is dramatic. This time, they would... Uh, you know, if I detain me, we can go down there for 48 hours. We're not going to be detention period in it. Oh, in charge of this is uh, West Chun, Director of uh, Facilities, Department of Facilities Maintenance, um, and Engineering, PhD in Engineering. Why is the facilities maintenance guy in engineering doing this? Have you ever tagged Question. it? Have you ever tagged it? I don't it has to be tagged and then 24 hours later they can take it because it shows it's stored property. Yeah, I will. I'll follow my own report. I like how they have that because I can't put 3736. It's an election year, folks. This looks like important stuff. This encampment has been here 177 days uh, continuously. Uh, join us tomorrow all day. May 1st, general strike. There will be uh, live music, food. Here's West Chan. Identifiable by uh, ring on his uh, little finger. Order, order of the engineer, which doesn't uh, investigate complaints, ethics violations, and that sort of thing.
Okay, police are claiming that their seller comes from homeowners. So, like, since this is homeless, since they're homeless, they can take this stuff. I don't know. I don't like it. But I have to say, the police are being cool. They know we're not going to bust out any Shaolin moves. Sober bunch of people. Never found drugs, uh, never found weapons, no explosives, stuff like that. We're, we're all cool. I like this. I like this new. They're taking some of uh, the table away that we used uh, yesterday for Food Not Bombs Jam. I'm processing some video for that, so it'll be... Uh, looks like they are disassembling um, some stuff. This is what happens when you let bullying go on. This is bull this is civil bullying. Oh, no, terrorism. Actually, the one officer down there. Yeah. Uh, that's facing us all the way at the end down there. Yeah. I wake up and he's he immediately started pushing on me. Shit. Really? Oh, cool. Since this isn't actually a crime. They got scene. their boots on and everything. Now Sergeant Santos and they don't hey, call hey, this a raid. Hey, police! Stop them! They cannot dismantle that guy. I've not been here for more than twenty four hours. It's not tag. That's that's search and seizure. Property, uh, opening an art supply. You can see a backhoe involved. Put up recently, untagged property. Um, paints and art supplies for uh, tomorrow's uh, May Day art. Somebody do their job! I need to file a police report! I need to file a police report! So somebody let me file a police report! Right now! I want it, I want, I want to file this right now! I want these people to fight me! So I'm counting number of uh, civic personnel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and about the same number of armed police. Taking untagged property, not subject to seizure under uh, any ordinance. Looking through the uh, paint box, new paints, um, art supplies used for. Um, they took your tent. They took your tent. That's yours. They went tag them or what? Did they tag them yesterday? No, no, no. Yeah, your stuff is going to get tagged. So I'll take it today. So when you grab your stuff, go grab your stuff. You're not going to get it. 
Yeah, grab them. I'll watch them, boy. They're going to take the stuff around with them. Yeah, they're going to you can see uh, stuff not being stored, it's being thrown away. These are art supplies and whatnot. Here's a tent. Uh, that's yours. No, uh, they don't have anything better to do. It's a great attempt to uh, create uh, homelessness. That's West Chun right there. Here at Occupy Honolulu, the graveyard of his political ambition. Now, a lot of these guys on the city crews we recognize. A couple of guys uh, here run the actual depot, so it makes it easier to. Uh, claim this stuff, I've actually been able to reclaim property after uh, 47 days. <laughs> None of this stuff was tagged. It's quite right. What we do, this is not, uh, this is Occupy Honolulu, not a homeless encampment. So what we do is take property and rotate it out. We have many tents, and that's to comply with uh, the law and to make the property exempt from seizure under Ordinance 11-029 uh, or Bill 54. These kinds of laws that take property mostly from homeless people are, is under um, attack across the nation. Many cities uh, made this kind of ordinance and uh, the one in LA is being um, challenged, in fact was the subject of an injunction at the moment. The uh, Department of Justice along with uh, other federal groups have Good question from Damien. Maybe we should call 911. What do you do when the police are stealing this stuff? What do you think? Uh, what What's your impressions on what's going on? I'm glad they're doing it. Why, why is that? Because these people have no right to be littering and, and mm. messing up public property. Well, actually, they have a legal right to be by the side of the road according to the uh, Constitution. It's part of the law of the splintered paddle. And it's uh, public property, and they are the public. I'm the public, too. Yes, and we I'm share it. Yeah, that's right. So I don't like them littering property that is partly mine. Well, I, I don't see right, a, a I lot of right litter. For clean property, not for them to litter and mess it, it up. It looks like property that's required uh, to live, tents and tables and that sort of thing. But they don't live here. They can't live here. Well, this is why not, not their property. It's public property and they are the public. What if how about taking... Uh, what if everybody about, came out here and filled up the whole how park? About, what would you think about that? Well, they've done that in other uh, in other cities that have, don't have much uh, housing. Um, Where do the houseless go? You, you're a resident of the area, then. That's right, I am. Okay, I am too. That'd be the. Uh, I am, and I do not. I don't want somebody sitting in my doorstep with their. Uh, all their well, this isn't your doorstep, is it? But I'm going down the sidewalk. I go through. We leave. Park. We leave enough. Uh, 
space for a sidewalk access. And sidewalk... Oh, so you think that this is just fine? I do. That they can pile up all their crap here? I do. Oh. I think they're well, within the... Well, that says something about you. I, I, I think they're within the law. We obviously have some disagreements with the neighbors. This is actually a, a property law. And actually, who I blame for these sorts of uh, regulations are the uh, public who pressured uh, their councilmen and that kind of thing to do something about the homeless, which means get them out of sight. Uh, so the Office of Housing, which is usually here and not here today, there's members of the press here, which means that they were kind of tipped off, or maybe it was one of our tweets, who knows. This is all of Michael Daly's art supplies, huh? all of Michael Daly's paints, and Michael Daly's banner. They took Michael Daly's banner? Yeah. They took artwork! You can't do that, that's expressive content, that's like total violation of the first thing. TOTAL VIOLATION! So, how about, how about uh, Raul Gonzalez? I don't know. All the things that Michael Daly put to store for his specific sustainability thing is, was in the, that... Do you see that uh, white yeah. thing that's sticking out? That's the box that has it. No, I we think it's had number 78. Raul Gonzalez came by yesterday and did a... A mural, yeah. No, really I beautiful know. mural. I'm, gonna, I'm wondering what happened to that. Just be a person! No. Occupy Honolulu are actually yeah, protesters. So, um, these tents, of course, would be replaced, rotated out. We have a whole rotation system uh, for the tents. Uh, but houseless people can't do that. This creates houselessness. It takes the um, ho housing away from uh, people with tents, their tents, and they're out on the street. And that's the solution for the Office of Housing and the Department of Facilities Management, um, West Chun, you see here who is a uh, real paranoid guy. <laughs> he came to a neighborhood board meeting with police escort and left uh, under police escort. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the stuff over there is just tagged. They got to vacate it up. We we'll rotate that, them but out. They're saying that none of it was tagged prior. Right. No, it wasn't. We just rotate them out and put different tents there. We don't store on property for 24 hours. Well, the floor also states they have to be stored properly. They don't exactly have to be stored. They go for some by kicking us. Oh, really? Yes. You notice it. They woke us up by kicking the tents, knowing that there were people in the yellow lines that were not in the tents. Police line, do not the cross. They're to take and manhandle me, they uh, pushing me around. New uh, feature of today's raid is the first time they've blocked off the area. You get some good angles here. Very organized. You notice the proliferation of embark tents. These tents will be gone in 24 hours, but other tents will be here. Join us tomorrow, May Day. Don't go to work. It's a general strike. Come down here. There will be food, uh, free speech, free food, free music. Don't go to work. Now, uh, if you're unfamiliar with the uh, procedure, they 
put tags on to describe the property and they take uh, pictures of the property. You, this is the sort of thing you need a PhD in engineering to accomplish. Here is a tag going on. We have a collection of Freedom Furniture tagged furniture that we'll be auctioning off. Uh, this, these tags increase the uh, market value of these throwaway pieces by quite a bit. We call it uh, Freedom Furniture. And uh, they're worth quite a bit. Wait, this is a freedom of speech table. I'm sorry. This is a, this is a freedom of speech table. I'm, I'm sitting at the freedom of speech table. You notice we have... Uh, in fact, while I'm here, I should probably pull out one of these calls for general strike. Uh, this sign, which is really weathered, but also uh, quite valuable, it has vinyl lettering. You can see, legalize free speech. It's an interesting concept. And, uh, yeah, this, guy's gonna, this chair already has a tag on it, but it's getting another tag. This is um, more freedom furniture. The, uh, this one had a tag on it, but this is an information booth, another one going on. This is massive freedom furniture. We got multiple tags on this. Uh, this is at the corner of uh, Ward and Baratania, so come down and check out this really high quality uh, multiply tag information table uh, that has uh, literature of various. Has any of the rules changed? It's still under the same Bill 54, right? That's what it says here. It's uh, another tag went on. Ordinance number 11-029, okay, which is uh, what Bill 54 became. This is outside the taped area. Well, no, I'm glad you are able to come over here. Glad you saved the table. Thank yeah, you I, I, it. I It's important to... Exercise. I was. Free I didn't. Speech. Well, I didn't think they'd make it over there because of the boundary. Yeah. I was like, okay, this is a perfect example yeah. to go talk to them. <laughs> Apparently, none of the rules have changed. None of the rules. Like today was under the same old rules. Yes. Same old rules. New. Uh, new stuff. New here. procedure. Yeah. New procedure. Well, that's pretty safe, but you also hey, Michael. Realize this is a stored property. Hey, Michael. Hey, Mike. Go through, Mike. Go. Cool. I dare you. <laughs> go through. <laughs> Go through. I hear it. It's a public sidewalk. Good. Two, mic, two mics are egging each other. Uh, <laughs> they came by by kicking. Kicking the tents. The police officers. Yes, they kicked the tents with people in it. Kicking individuals. I don't know. So then once they get out, they decided to take their hands and actually start pushing on me without even, even taking the time to tell you where they are. Here, I gotta point out something on the police car. Thank you. There are two things on it that are bro splintered paddles. No, 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 they're not. And as you see, they're tagging again, but they did this whole parade and called this a crime scene without a crime being committed. That's right. Kicks it's not actually part of the. Uh, no, no, they they kick. First I'm sure, I, when I get kicked in the head, it's get... battery. Battery. <laughs> so when they're, when they're gonna sit there and start pushing on me and kicking me, they didn't take this sign, which is illegally here, but you know it's a plant sale. It doesn't discuss uh, anything particularly controversial, so it's okay. In fact, it's a selling thing. We have a couple of happy uh, homeowners <laughs> in the area, and that's really the cause of the pressure 
on this. You know, the economic crash caused a lot of tent cities to go up rather than address the problem, rather than uh, go after the crimes committed by banks that received almost $1 trillion, that's almost a $1,000 billion. In bailouts, they um, went after the uh, houseless. It's easier to blame people who are healthy. Of course, Occupy Honolulu is a protest encampment right across the street from the former Anna Rice Cook mansion. Uh, that's part of Castle and Cook, um, the first uh, five um, business land barons who profited from uh, taking Hawaiian land. This is a really big show for not much stuff that they got because it was not subject to a seizure. They tagged some stuff. Of course, these trucks and whatnot show that uh, they're on a sweep of probably the urban places in uh, Honolulu. So if you're in one of those, or you're across the street, or you got friends there, warn them if these guys haven't been there yet. They're on their way. They're going to take away your tent, so like, pack them up. Don't let your stuff get tagged. I'm over at the other corner. This is across from the uh, Occupy corner. These are non-politically... Uh, organized people and they get treated much worse uh, they don't know the law they're not politically organized so um, they got well I can I just you know I'm not the yellow tape we're only trying to watch the yellow tape just stop right back over there well I want to I want to make sure I captured all the interactions That's fine, but we're going to ask you to stand a little bit further it's usually like five feet is like what yeah. let me get over on this side let me get over on this side you see uh houses have their stuff and it's all gonna go away. That's the, uh, this creates houselessness. You take what little people have to live and uh, take it away and what do you got? You got somebody on the street. Usually uh, there are personnel from the Office of Housing accompanying the crews, but not today. West Chun is doing his job with great enthusiasm and gusto. Actually, he fills me with disgust and contempt. This is the law of the land. The uh, notes to the Hawaii Revised Statutes show that inventory of property is search. Uh, so this is search and seizure of property, uh, which is unreasonable and for which there are guarantees against in both the uh, U.S. Constitution in the Fourth Amendment and reiterated in the uh, Hawaii Constitution. You can see uh, them taking clothing, supplies required to live, backpacks. A lot of houseless people are very well organized. and. Uh, this is being disorganized, searched, and uh, taken away.
couple of weeks ago, our crews went out to Keao uh, Beach Park on the leeward side, and there was a large community of people living, and then forced them out over the weekend. See shoes being thrown away now. Right in front of the uh, Thomas Square sign, now on the corner of Victoria and Veritania. Corner opposite from Occupy Honolulu. This is a uh, non affiliated corner, if you want to say that. I don't think uh, the city crews or the police really enjoy. Uh, doing this. But you got to do, I guess, what you got to do. At one point, you know, we'll have to try and ask the crews to step aside when it comes to that and see what happens. West Chun throwing stuff into the back hole. Everything that's going into the back hole goes into the garbage. The uh, Department of Facilities Maintenance is actually supposed to take care of roads, that sort of thing, potholes. But it's a cabinet position under uh, Mayor Peter Carlisle, so if he says you got to do it, then the Department of Facility Maintenance has to go and do it. is hopefully career ending for any political ambitions that the engineer might have. Got another uh, live streamer here. One thing uh, that the houses people don't have that I'd like to see them get is live stream, Twitter, internet access, solar powered hotspots, you know, because you can't plug your stuff in. We're at the uh, corner opposite Occupy Honolulu. Occupy Honolulu is taped off as a crime scene to allow them to do the work because Occupy Honolulu is politically organized and uh, a little bit less passive about things than the homeless guys. There's the guy we call Captain back there. Guy with a cane lives out here. He's used to these. Uh, suitcases. Yes, this is live, April 30th. Monday or a little before noon here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Police and city crews just conducted a raid on Occupy Honolulu have moved over uh, after they taped it, taped it up as a crime scene and they moved over to the other corner where we have uh, non-politically organized uh, positions taken away. You can see blankets, uh, shaving toiletries and that sort of thing, uh, Altoid. Uh, breath mint kind of candies and that sort of thing. Blankets uh, to keep them warm. It's all being thrown out. This is, uh, what does this do? It, it gets these encampments and the homeless out of public view so that the nearby property owners can feel that they live in a safe and prosperous neighborhood, but it's an illusion because all it does is create homelessness. So we'll have people on the street without tents, without their clothes, without their supplies, trying to find a way to survive here in the city.
Wes Chun, Director of Facilities Maintenance. Civil Beat just recently published uh, city workers' uh, salaries. He makes $112,000. Has a PhD in engineering. It's a cabinet position. You can see a lot of uh, engineering expertise needed. Now these supplies going into into the uh, what look like garbage cans actually will be stored. Owners can reclaim them. However, in order to reclaim the property, we'll need credit card receipts. Homeless people, in order to reclaim property, tents, suitcases, blankets, um, toiletries, medications and whatnot, will need credit card receipts, which means this stuff is not going to be recovered. It will be thrown away in 30 days. The person that uh, determines whether you can pick them up or not is, in fact, West Chun. We were able to reclaim a number of tents. Uh, after 45 days and after uh, some work by an attorney. The uh, houseless people don't have that kind of power organization option, and that's gone. This stuff's gone. Uh, nothing to sleep on, no nothing to sleep under, nothing to clean up with. Nothing to brush your teeth with. Houseless people. But their stuff is gone, so the property owners nearby can feel good about things. Here comes a backhoe from across the, uh, from the Occupy Honolulu corner. About 30 people in all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, trucks and whatnot. Factor the cost in. Divided by the number of uh, houses people created, and you have uh, the cost to create each houseless person. There go clothes. People without houses are great gleaners of stuff off the sidewalk. Get use out of stuff that uh, isn't being used. Uh, there are baskets and stuff, things that keep their things organized. This is an inventory. Under the law, inventory is a search. massive violation of Fourth Amendment protections. These protections are also mentioned, reiterated in the Hawaii State Constitution. You just joined us. We're at the corner of uh, Victoria in Baratania. This is the corner down the block from Occupy Honolulu where the raid started. This is the uh, politically unorganized houseless camp having all their stuff taken. No help for the uh, houseless, the office of housing. Uh, didn't send a rep, usually sends uh, Trish Morikawa, who's a coordinator, salary of $80,000. She's not here, but Wes Chan, that's Wes here. He has a PhD in engineering, but gets $112,000. Takes a lot of engineering know how. The cabinet position, and uh, I hope he doesn't have political ambitions because. This is uh, going to end up as part of his video curriculum vitae. You know what I'm saying? This is 
case is fully stopped. Now these are going into storage, but there's no way any houseless person can recover his stuff because they don't have credit card receipts. This stuff in the back hole goes in the big truck and that's just trash. That's gone. I'm a supporter of Occupy Honolulu. I don't live in the encampment, but I live a block or two up the street. I've uh, purchased a bunch of tents with a credit card. There are many supporters who brought tents. You see all the furniture over on the uh, Occupy Honolulu side. That's just a few days of asking people to bring stuff by and people picking up uh, discarded furniture from off the side of the road, we call that freedom furniture, and whatever they took, um, that's going to come back. I, I was really sad to see that bright orange sofa go, because that came in only uh, yesterday on top of somebody's car, and on top of a Mercedes, as a matter of fact. I hate uh, asking people to bring stuff. But really what we need is a solution to this. What Occupy Honolulu is about is asking people to get together and figure out a way to make society a little bit more fair. To eliminate the influence of the corporations and big money on public policy. Looks like some stuff was tagged and that'll get to stay. They can come back tomorrow and take the stuff. This is probably a good way to kind of segue. We're following the backhoe full of uh, Houseless people's uh, living supply, clothes, blankets, suitcases, uh, racks of stuff, all their material position, possessions in that backhoe. Not going into storage. But going into that dump truck. If you don't like what's going on, come down tomorrow. May Day. Don't go to work. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Free food, music. We're going to have a generator, amplify music. We have a license. Now these things uh, go into that other truck, the train truck, and uh, those technically go into storage for 30 days. Louder over here, on the Occupy What crime has been committed here? Answer me! What is my charge? What is, what is, what is, we were told this is a crime scene and then we had to evacuate. What crime was committed here? This is, this is an illegal seizure. Of my what crime was committed here? This is an illegal seizure of my body. Yeah, this is illegal seizure. So you guys fucked what up. What is my charge? You guys fucked up. <laughs> what crime did I commit? Answer me. What crime did I commit? Answer me. What crime was committed here? You allowed somebody to run your, your crime scene. Your federal court system said that this was illegal. Yours. Not another state's. But yours. Of course, in the Occupy Corner, we yours. got what? video and live stream like crazy. And we're still going off without a hitch tomorrow. You guys ain't doing shit. 
yeah. just wasting your time, my time, more importantly, and taxpayers' dollars. You guys should come out. May 1st. Start tomorrow. Yeah, you guys you guys to to call in sick. Yeah, call in sick. We have a permit! Unless you want to make that illegal, too. <laughs> What's the charge, guys? You got crime scene tape up. Jake says we should we invite go city workers to go on it's strike with us, and I'm we just did, Jake. Good. What is my Good suggestion. Charge? We are loud here at the Occupy Corner. We are politically organized. What is my charge? Why am I not allowed to be there? Answer me! Answer me now! What is my charge? He is not an officer of the law. You are. What is my charge? No, asshole, I'm talking to you. What is my charge? If you're just joining us, we're, I'm back in the Occupy Corner. Corner of Ward and Baratania, where the uh, armed police and uh, city crews are conducting a seizure and tagging raid. Uh, weren't able to take much stuff from Occupy because we're organized enough to rotate property out to make it uh, not subject to seizure under the... Uh, to answer uh, your question, Jake, no, uh, Andrew's not charged with anything. He's asking uh, why this is taped off as a crime scene. Um, so what is the crime? And in fact, uh, the ordinance, 11-029, is a revised ordinance of Honolulu. It's not part of the criminal code. So actually the police don't have to be here. They are here, we are told, to keep the peace. And also to help uh, the city steal property. That's pretty messed up, though. That's what I think. There goes the truck. That truck, the dump truck, goes to the dump. Most of it full of uh, houses, people's uh, required living um, stuff. Now, they tagged that orange sofa that showed up on top of a Mercedes yesterday. They took uh, some painting, which I'm really upset about because uh, they were created yesterday. I'm ho I know there was one by Michael Daly that uh, Sam saw taken. I'm really worried about the great mural that Raul uh, Gonzalez painted yesterday. It was just of a splintered paddle, which is emblazoned with the words Kanavai and Mamalahoy. Law which allows people uh, in the state to um, lie by the roadside and disturb. It's a law that uh, has, uh, has has withstood challenge and allows people to encamp by the side of the road, which is why the encampments are right up against the road, as you see here. Uh, the ordinance takes the position that uh, you can lie by the road, but you can't, but your stuff can. And in fact, your stuff is subject to seizure. There's a, the picture of Kamehameha passing by on the side of an aloha bus. Kamehameha is not a tourist commodity. Well, he is, but he's not, certainly wasn't in his life. First king of uh, Hawaii, uh, creator of its first formal uh, law, the Kanavai Mamalahoi, the law of the splinter title, which is being violated today. And so, if you just joined us, we are um, winding up here.
This is the um, Occupy Corner. I'm going to spin around here to so get a feeling of where we are if you are um, not in Honolulu. Beautiful Thomas Square. This is where um, sovereignty was returned to the Hawaiian nation in 1843, I believe. July 31st. Yeah, oh, keep the tape. Oh, man. Oh. They're going to take the... Uh, here's the ceremonial... Uh, Oh, I think they're going to... We could... <laughs> we could occupy Honolulu scene. No weapons, though. No weapons, no alcohol, no drugs. They're not going to let us keep the uh, tape. I, the one thing I gotta find before I take off is um, is uh, okay. Here are the tags on stuff. Now that um, you know, we have a lot of these. Um, we use this tablecloth for our food, not bombs. Yesterday, to see uh, how they tag stuff. I'm really upset. That this is tag. This uh, sofa arrived on the top of a Mercedes Benz yesterday from a supporter. Um, they didn't take the sign making materials, which is good. You can see this one is tagged earlier. They didn't take it. They got to tag it again. Probably means they'll be by. Some of this, which is you know gleaned off the uh, Makiki sidewalk. Um, it's good stuff, and people are throwing it out, and, you know, it gets a few days more useful service to society, having a little powwow here, apparently. Yeah. And, uh, it gives a date and time, because it has to be no person shall store personal property and public property. Personal property stored on public price shall be impounded, not removed within 24 hours. So, of course, this stuff will be removed. And uh, we have supporters that will take it away, including me. And uh, another set of tents will go up. I'm really upset about the artwork and art supplies that. Uh, were confiscated, however. There was a large mural-sized painting, not a banner, a painting, by uh, Michael Daly. Uh, he's a noted artist, so that thing actually not only had uh, expressive content, I have a photograph from it as they were working on it yesterday. It had not only expressive content, This guy has a problem with the police. But <laughs> People are not afraid to give the police some shit. Which is which is uh, the evidence of a uh, good society. You know, if you can give the cops shit, you live in a good town. It's when you can't give the cops shit, then it's a little bit like Nazi Germany, you know what I'm saying? I think that's it. I think I'm signing out because i got to put quarters in my meter.
Join us uh, tomorrow. What are you protesting? Which may uh, have another raid, May 1st. Can someone tag that police car? I think it's been here for 24 hours. This is a. Occupy Honolulu is a loud corner. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna see. Uh, okay, Sam's up there. I don't want her to have to do with cops by herself. I'm gonna go up there. Record for a second? Sure. Um, I'm gonna, I, I gotta keep it rolling. I'm, I'll record for a second later. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to like put quarters in my meter anyway. So, so what's up? Hi, I was inviting them to, uh, to, uh, um, our strike, to tomorrow. our strike tomorrow. Yeah, I. And he's like, well, thank you for being cooperative. And I was like, well, I really wasn't because I just went inside. <laughs> Anyway, so I went to court this morning and invited the whole courtroom and my and the judge to me first. I had Good. A, I handed yeah. out flyers. Who's the judge? Like, I don't even know. Some grumpy old guy. They're all wait, grumpy wait, old. No, 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 it's no, no, no. It's important to know the name. Do you have a mustache? Yeah. Is he like kind of big? No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's supposed to be. Oh, couldn't have been. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna. Okay. Okay. That oh wasn't my God, that was on. What? That was on live stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're signing off. Uh, join us tomorrow, May Day strike. Don't go to work. We're gonna be having 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Free food, free speech. Um, music, uh, speeches, uh, um, what else? Oh, we're going on a march. March to the Capitol caused some trouble and that kind of stuff. We can see the, uh, the damage stuff I'm glad you guys sent got down in time. Okay, if we, uh... Okay, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I gotta... Uh, here another here's another embark tent. They didn't take this. That's pretty cool. And that's the corner. You know, you know, I'll show you a funny thing. So oh, while you're still with us and before we go away, and that's um, here's our sign, General Strike. Now, if you join us tomorrow, they might come back. Cause they're supposed to come back 24 hours later and take stuff that's tagged. So you know, join us tomorrow. There's a big sign here that says Plant Sale. I mean, like, you know, we had banners up here and they'd take it down because it's illegal. But, like, they can have this plant sale banner up there. And uh, the plant guys are actually are actually pretty cool. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around here, legalize free speech. This is our Aloha Revolution corner. I'm going to sign off. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for joining us. Talk to you tomorrow. Please come down tomorrow. You might get to see a raid. You might get to, get to see a seizure raid because they tagged stuff. 24 hours later is a raid. You could be lucky. See it in person. Okay. Talk to you later. Thank